So today we're going to make um, scones, just classic sweet scones. Um, I imagine that everybody probably thinks that they have their own best recipe for scones, which was probably given to them by their granny, but I think that this is the best recipe. However, I'm very open to being told otherwise, so just let me know. In here, I have the dry ingredients, which is 450 grams of plain white flour, um, a little pinch of salt, and 50 grams of caster sugar. I use golden caster sugar, um, but you can use whatever you want. Um, and then we also need to add some baking powder. So I've sieved the flour, that's very important. Um, sieved the sugar, but it kind of just goes through anyway. Um, and the salt. So now this recipe calls for a heaped teaspoon of baking powder. But I'm doing half the recipe today. So I'm doing half a heaped teaspoon, which is thankfully and satisfyingly a level teaspoon. Just make sure you sift that as well. And what I've also done before, because um, it took kind of quite a long time, and I imagine that you didn't really want to watch it, was add butter. So what we did there was we measured 75 grams of cold fridge butter, um, and then you grate it in. So, you know, I usually grate it on the kind of biggest cheese grater, one a bit like this. And then you kind of get your hands in, make sure you've washed your hands at this point, and you kind of crumble it like this into coarse breadcrumbs. It doesn't take too long, probably about five minutes. You kind of want to do it more quickly than not because you don't want your mixture to be greasy. So at this stage, but you probably should have done it at the beginning, but I didn't tell you to, you need to preheat your oven. So if you've got a conventional oven and it goes up to 250, great put it on 250 for conventional. I've got a fan oven, so I do it at 230 because you want it a bit lower. And if your um, oven doesn't go up to that, just, just um, put it to the highest um, setting that it can go to. So we want 200 ml of milk and two eggs. I'm doing half the recipe, so I'm just doing one egg. And we want to add the egg to the milk and then mix the two together. So we just want to beat the milk and the egg together. So now we're going to make a hole in the centre of our breadcrumb mixture and we're going to mix it in. We're going to mix it in, um, it sounds ridiculous, but we're going to mix it in kind of using a claw like hand. So we want really stiff fingers. We don't want to kind of mix it like that. We want to go in like that and then mix it round in a kind of clockwise position like that. And we're going to pour probably about, we're going to leave about that much. So I've left 50 ml in there. So we're just going to mix that in. So that's too dry, so I'm going to add a bit more. You, know, you don't want the mixture too wet, otherwise it's just going to be impossible to kind of manage. You want the um, scone mixture to kind of clean out your bowl. So you want it to be a very clean, non-sticky dough so that your bowl looks like this. At this point, you need to go um, and wash your hands. So now you've got your dough. Um, basically what you want to do is flour your work surface with um, some plain flour because it is quite sticky out dough sometimes. Um, and then basically what you want to do is you want the kind of least amount of hand to dough time possible. You kind of want to like roll it into the shape that you want it because the less you kind of work it, the less the gluten is worked. And, you know, because you don't want scones to be like kind of bready vibes, they're quite like different. So we're going to roll it and it sounds big, but it needs to be about two and a half centimetres slash one inch thick because you do want kind of nice scones that are going to rise. And actually what someone told me was apparently this part of your thumb here from the knuckle to the top is an inch. So, you know, no tape measure, no problem. So now we're going to cut them and just put them onto the tray. Ideally, um, 
you have a palette knife, quite a niche thing to have. So if you don't have a palette knife, just try and make sure that the dough doesn't stick on here. So just put some flour down. Best to flour the inside where you're gonna cut the dough. And here I've got two stations. I've got the leftover milk and egg um, from the mixture that I didn't put all the way all in. So that's good. And here I've got some demerara sugar to put on the top of it. So I cut one. I brush the top of it with the kind of leftover egg and milk mixture. And then I put it face egg side upwards in to the demerara sugar bowl. So it looks like that. And then I put it straight on the plate. So just keep doing that. And then they go straight into the oven. So I've got six on that tray. I'm now gonna put them in the oven for 12 minutes. So I've got 230, you'll have 250 conventional, 230 fan. And I'm gonna put these in the oven for not 12, sorry, 10 minutes. I've had about 12 minutes and I just looked at them. So I think that they are done. You then put them on a wire rack um, because they need to cool because if they don't cool um, then the bottom goes soggy so what you want is you want you probably can't hear that from here but basically when you tap it you want it to sound really hollow and it does so that's great so yeah basically that is scones then you can just have them with whatever you have scones with um, they're a great snack so I would definitely try um, and make them so yeah you're welcome